Okay, so I've got my box and I just need to cut a bit out of the top so we can actually get it in and out of the uh, case it's going in. So we're just going to um, use a triangle to cut this out. So. All right, so I'm just going to select both side walls, the triangle and the front wall. I'm going to make sure the front of those are aligned. So that's that one there. They're all lined up properly across the front now. I'll just make that uh, longer. Yep, and we'll make it a hole. And then Control D. To duplicate in place, duplicate in place. I'm going to need it three times, so I'm duplicating it three times. Pick that uh, triangle, pick a side wall, group it. Pick a triangle, pick the side wall, group it. Pick triangle, pick the front, group it. And oh, I've ended up with a triangle left over. Okay, so that's what the front of the box is going to be like. And then we need to add some text. We're going to write our names on that. Um, so grab your text and rotate it. And And then you can change the size of that. So mine's a bit big there. Uh, not that one. What's the size? Um, width, that was 70, so I've got 60. All right, that'll do. Okay, last thing, just lay them all flat so that they can be laser cut. So, grab the side walls, rotate them 90, and then D on your keyboard, we'll lay it flat on the work plane. 90, D, All right, now they all need to be as close as possible to each other. So I'm just going to grab the ruler onto the work plane. Stick this on at zero. And 
zero and just line them up so that I don't touch but are very close. So my work plan there needs to be 300 mil wide. So edit grid, the work plane needs to be 300. So make sure all the pieces are on the work, work plane or they won't get laser cut and then uh, export. Laser cutting, export SVG. And that's the file that you need for laser cutting. 